So by setting up the SPV, uh, what that does is it gives us a whole new arena phase. It also shows these people that we actually understand what the scam that they have allowed and even been involved in in bankrupting this country. What they allowed the banks to do is wrong. And what the banks have done is wrong. The banks couldn't have done what they did without these SPVs. What's SPV? <laughs> Special <laughs> purpose data. They need it once a year or something like that. Yeah, but they have these. So, look, all we did was we said, right, but we, what we decided to do is the best way to fight fire is with fire. So, we set up an SPV, and the beauty of the SPV is the SPV can actually sue, and it can sue for money, damages. If you try and take a class action in Ireland, you can't sue for money down. So the SPV can't. Because, you see, what we want to do is we want to go in and we want to show, number one, that, the, that, that these, these acts and what have you are actually illegal or unlawful. And number two, we want to struck down. And then number three, we want the money that is stolen from people paid back. So any of you people that have paid it, that money, whether you know it or not, was stolen from you because it, they have no law that has been implemented. So if it was taken from you, <coughs> Without proper law, is that not fair? If you say you're going to educate students <coughs> and go and you do that, they rectify the wrong law. But well, you see, we've already explained that you can't rectify the wrong law without a referendum. referendum. And if you call a referendum, you have to call <coughs> a referendum. What do you have to do? You want to tell the people, right, lads. Now this is a government who have called a referendum on Nice and they didn't get the answer they wanted and then they went and called it again. Is that correct? So they got the... Now, it would be the same scenario. So they're going to call a referendum. What they have to say is, look lads, um, we want to bring in a raft of taxes. And for us to bring in the raft of taxes, we need you to sign a declaration. And when you sign the declaration, we'd be able to bring them all in. <laughs> <laughs> but that is like going out into a field full of turkeys and asking them to vote for Christmas. It is no different. So how are you going to get the people to vote? Yes, you can't do it. <coughs> so they have sat down and said, Jesus said, I know Bertie pulled this stroke and he managed it and, you know, he got away with it, but I don't think we'll get away with it. So they decided, for sure, shite, we will all write a bit of legislation, so no one can read it anyway. <laughs> Which is the truth. Who holds reading legislation? Nobody. So they brought out a cleverly worded document, which is the law, and nobody actually read it. Do you not find that incredible? Like, what actually boils my blood is that how many barristers have been engaged at this stage to look at this <coughs> and to say, that is there an angle on this? Now, we've had a couple of barristers <coughs> We met a couple of barristers in uh, Arco. Uh, now, in fairness, they actually offered us help. They weren't being put in issue with the tenants. And they did come up and they spoke to us and they did say, look, if we'd be interested in getting involved on this from another angle, and they told us the angle that they were looking at. <coughs> and we were saying, fine, that's okay, we'll definitely deal with you. And um, then he says to me, typical barrister, we put up on the table. Here, beside him. And he's leaning on his own um, phone. <laughs> and he says to me, he says, um, the only thing I would concern on has, he says, and he's a very grand act, he says to me, would be, <coughs> um, you're in the district court, he says, and the currency in the district court is verbal. So he says, when you don't make your declaration, what happens when the judge says, I'll accept your declaration here today? Back to there. What does it say, number one? It says a declaration shall be made to the relevant local authority in writing. It doesn't say you can be making verbal declarations, okay? You have to think about that now for about 18 seconds. Of <laughs> so, like, that is the best you can throw at us on the day. So then he said, fair enough, look, that's grand. Uh, we'll, we'll work on it. And he said, I'd definitely read that thing and we'll deal with it. And what he actually told us he would do in fairness to him, because he's not the worst of them, he said, look, I'll tell you what, when your case is in, we'll have a look at the case and we'll try and attack it from our side. Because he actually told me he had no problem with it properly, that he actually believed that. 
and he probably should be paying the property tax. But it wasn't that. He took a completely different angle of law for it, and that's all. <coughs> that's all he's prepared to bring to the table for us. He's actually given information on um, these people specialise in discrimination, but he's going to attack that side of the court. No, but he will give us. Like I don't. No, I wouldn't work with him, and I wouldn't have him in the court. But really, I don't trust. Any, I don't trust myself. <laughs> so uh, no, but I'll be honest. So but I say that uh, there is certainly a hidden agenda going on there somewhere. Ah, but there is. But you see, the thing is. I have no issues because, you see, the difference is we're not stupid. We can read the law, we can understand it, and we can see what's going on. So it isn't an issue. Yeah. And we do, look, we have um, uh, some great people who come out of the woodwork. What we're actually attracting is, for some reason, an awful lot of elderly retired solicitors mm. have come out of the woodwork. And one of them came up and we sat him in our school in Port Leash and we showed him this information. And we were looking at this, and he was looking at it, and he kept saying to me, it can't be like that. It can't be like that. I've read this. And I said to him, well, and he said, is it written exactly like that? And he kept saying, go back, go back, go back, go back. I'm not saying he go forward. And we're going like this, and here it's all over the place. And next he says to me, he said, did you change any of that? And I said, we didn't. And he said, well, that can't be. I said, why do you think you're sitting here? And he said, they have to call a referendum. It can't be done. I said, no. I said, that's all we want to do. <coughs> because obviously when you do something, you need other people to look at it as well. So he couldn't get over it. And he said, I just, the only thing that upset him the most was that he actually read it. And he didn't see it. In it. And he would consider himself um, more educated than us because he spent 40 odd years practicing law. But it is, 